Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Shield, and welcome back to, well, right in between Galar Mine number 2 and Motostoke. Uh, I was going to say we're on route something, but does this even have a route number? I think it's just Motoskirt out, uh, mo Motoskirt? Motostoke Outskirt. Blimey, that was a bit of a muddle up there. And I think on that note, we'll continue with our journey back towards Motostoke. Although, I kind of want to do a little bit of training before we... Head back to uh, head back to the city, and hey, pseudo Wudo, we did see you, but I don't think I actually properly encountered you in the last episode. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use waterfall on you, do a bit of training, and if I weaken you enough, ooh, I might try and catch it. Okay, so that's a good uh, start. Let's now move to uh, switch to a uh, Bolton. And hopefully give it a little nuzzle. Gonna give me a tearful look. Oh. My attack foul and special attack foul, but I'm totally okay with that because I want to use nuzzle. I mean, it's not strong, but it's proved me wrong before. Okay, that's fine. Ha <laughs> ha! Instant paralysis. Nice. I paralyzed you and he couldn't move on that turn, which is always nice. Okay, you are in the red. Ooh, you're mimicking uh, Nuzzle, are you? <laughs> Alright, looks like you want to Nuzzle me as well. Right, I've only got one Pokeball. So you know what, I'm just going to use a Great Ball on you. I do need to stock up on some Pokeballs, actually, especially once we're done in Motostoke. Because once we're done with Motorstoke, our next destination, if I remember rightly, I think it's Hammerlock. And that means we have to go back into the wild area. Yay! <laughs> remember what, four or so episodes I spent in the wild area uh, early on in this Let's Play. Well, it's probably going to happen again. But we're definitely going to be checking out some more stronger Pokemon. Uh, should be interesting, actually. It should be a good opportunity to do some training. Anyway, Sudo Wudo, or Sudo Wudo, the imitation Pokemon. It disguises itself as a tree to avoid attack. It hates water, so it'll disappear if it starts raining, or if a Dreadnought decides to use Waterfall on it. Although, actually, in fairness, it did actually stay. So, maybe it didn't mind after all. Anyway, you know what? There's another Sudo Wudo. I'm just going to give a little bit more training to my Dreadnought. You know, just level it up just a little bit more, you know, just just to be a little bit on the safe side in preparation for the gym battle. Also, this Pseudo Wood is level 25, same level as Dreadnought, interestingly. Which is totally fine. You're blocking me. I can no longer escape. Well, that's fine, because I didn't want to escape anyway. You may regret wanting to do that, though, Pseudo Wudo. Um, yeah, um, good luck with that. <laughs> ah, poor Pseudo Wudo. Hey, Dreadnought's now level 26. Nice, and Shellos is getting pretty close to leveling up, too. Nice. A uh, bunch of Knocked Owl. Uh, oh, another Pseudo Wudo. Might as well uh, battle you. Oh, was that a, um, a Salazzle I just saw poke out? I think it was. Uh, so I'll tell you what. Let me battle this pseudo... Wow, level 26 this one. Okay, this the levels of the Pokemon are suddenly getting higher. And curiously... That did actually quite a bit of damage. I guess your uh, defense stat is a little bit on the low side for this particular pseudo Wudo. Fair enough. Excellent. Shellos is now 25. I tell you what, Boltund is leveling up very quickly. Um, in fact, if anything, leveling up more quickly than Flacky, so I guess um, Bolton could be, you know, I could use as a backup for this next gym battle. But hopefully I can rely on the likes of Dreadnought and maybe Shellos. Anyway, so speaking of Shellos, you just learned Body Slam. Let's check out this Salazzle because... Uh, not Salazzle, Sandalid. I wish it was a Salazzle, but no, Sandalid, the pre-evolved form. I got the wrong Pokemon name. Uh, it's another male. So now I spent a bit of time having a look for a uh, Salandit. I did catch one, but it was a male, and only the females involved into a Salazzle. Uh, because I was kind of debating what would I rather have. Growlithe or eventually Arcanine, or 
Salad, uh, sa s s whatever this Pokemon is called again. <laughs> uh, Salandet, and then eventually Salazzle. Uh, yeah, I didn't catch another one, but this was a male, so it won't evolve. So, hmm, I wouldn't mind trying to catch a female one so I can evolve it. But I don't know if I want to stick with Growlithe as my main fire type. Oh, blimey, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you pop out from? A wild throw! Just popped out of the wild grass out of nowhere! <laughs> Where the heck did you come from, buddy? What's I thinking about it? I've, maybe battling this throw might not have been a good idea considering... Um, yeah! Um, yeah, that was not a great idea. Um, right, um, Corpus Squire, can you do me a favour? You um, help take care of this uh, fro, <laughs> because that almost knocked out Dreadnought, and I kind of want to keep it, you know, alive. So I can um, level up a bit more. Also, I should actually catch this fro thinking about it. So let's just use Peck. You're just going to carry on using Bulk Up. That's okay. And I'm going to switch again <laughs> to uh, Boltund. Who's, yeah, getting very close to uh, level 30. In fact, you'll be the first Pokemon in my squad to reach level 30, I think. At this rate. Yeah, you're just going to constantly use Bulk Up. That's okay. Increases your defense, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Although that did very little damage. Yeah, you're just not in the mood to attack right now, so I tell you what, I'm. Even though I would like to weaken you a little bit more, I'm just going to use a Great Ball on you just to see if this is enough. Nope, it's not. Okay. Uh, right. Nuzzle, well, because of all its bulk up, it's not going to do a huge amount of damage. I wonder if I can get away with using Spark. I can. And I think one more Nuzzle. I'll use Wide Guard again. That's. Well, fine, I guess. Oh, no, no, don't fight because you're now in the red. Now let's try using a Great Ball. Come on. Wow, okay, you actually broke out quicker than you did previously. Uh-oh, all that bulking up. Yikes. Yowzers. Okay, knocked out Bolt under immediately. Okay. I'll tell you what, let's bring out Corpus Choir. Because you'll be a little bit more resistant to the attacks. And let's try using a Great Ball again. There we go. Fro was caught. Oof. Bit of a challenging one, that Fro. But on the plus side, we got ourselves a new Pokemon, Fro, the Judo Pokemon, a training group of five. Any member that can't keep up will discard its belt and leave the group. Okay, so we got ourselves Fro. Any other Pokemon? Uh, we've got a Pokemon trainer to battle. Anything around here? A bunch of Knocked Owl. More Pseudo Wudo. You know what? One more Pseudo Wudo battle and then we'll uh, make our way back to Motorstoke. Head back to the uh, hotel and uh, sleep until the next day. Also, I forgot to uh, heal you up, Dreadnought. <laughs> well, that's okay ish. I'll just use a super potion for now. There we go. A little bit better. You're just going to use Block. That's okay. That's fine. I didn't I didn't plan to switch out Dreadnought anyway. So let's just use Waterfall. Plus, this will help level up Dreadnought again. Yeah, that Pseudo Wudo with first stood that attack pretty well compared to the previous one, which was two levels higher than it, so 
The one I battled against previously, obviously uh, its defense is uh, definitely its weakest um, stat there. Ooh, Corvus Squire here very close to leveling up. Nice. Okay, I think that will do with the wild Pokemon. Uh, let's... I should really revive Boltons just in case. Yeah, I've got 14 revives. We, we're, we're fine. And besides, I do need to do a bit of uh, shopping anyway. To restore some items. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to use two potions on Boltons rather than use a super potion. There we go. Might as well not waste a super potion. Perfect. Okay, it's finally time to battle! Young Pokemon trainer, won't you honour me with a battle? Yeah, sure, I'll battle you. Just give me a little bit more training, so uh, Caroline is my opponent for now. Yampa! Ah, of course you have to set up a Pokemon that's going to be strong against uh, Dreadnought. Uh, right, okay, well, uh, change of plan, let's bring out Flacky. And a good job I did too. And man, that did... Okay, obviously you're level 22. Which is interesting, considering uh, the wild Pokemon around here are actually a few levels higher than this Yamper. Oh wow, is that li literally only doing... Oh, fuck, he's paralyzed, but we'll, uh, we'll power through this for now. Except I get immediate... Oh, you're going to use Roar, okay. Who are you going to bring out? You bring a Dreadnought back out, but you know what? I think we're going to be okay. Uh, I'm just going to use Bite, why not? I was going to say, as long as I'm faster than that Yamper, we'll be okay. And sure enough, I am okay. Excellent. Wolf Squire's now level 29, nice. Uh, Swoobat, I am going to switch Pokemon. Uh... I'm actually almost tempted to bring out Hoxel. Even though it only knows Nuzzle. Hmm. I'm actually kind of tempted just to maybe give it a bit more experience. You know what? Let's bring out Hoxel. Uh, level 24. I mean, we'll give it a go, but... I'm not sure, though. Air Cutter, that's not going to do a huge amount of damage, although admittedly still a bit more than I'd like. Ooh, okay. Actually, Toxel. That's actually not bad. For a Nuzzle, that's not bad. And if we get lucky... Oh no! Confusion! Wow, survived that just... Okay, now we switch out. How on earth you survived that, Toxel? I do not know. Also, it makes me wonder why you used Air Cutter first and then Confusion. Um, you surely would have known... The, well, the type of advantage, surely. Anyway, we'll just get uh, Bolton to finish this off. A good effort, though, by Toxel, but... I think once it evolves, that's when we'll see Toxel's true power. And Boltorn is level 30, and so is Flacky, actually. Nice. Uh, Flacky wants to learn Slam. It's a powerful move, but I never really like it, simply because of its accuracy. Uh, is it worth it? Well... I think it, yeah, we'll, we'll let you learn Slam, even though I'm not really a massive fan of Slam. We'll have you learn it for now, because it is, at the end of the day, stronger overall than Double Hit. I was going to say, that's a lot of money, but I just remembered, I think I gave an amulet coin to Dreadnought, I think? So there's the signpost, and actually, I think... Uh, oh, I was going to heal my Pokemon. Hello, hello, what's all this then? Fancy a scrap with a copper? Okay, <laughs> careful now, buddy. You don't know who you're talking to. You're talking to the future champion of the Galar region. 
Oh, you're setting out Growlithe. Oh, that is actually uh, not a good choice for you. The question is how much damage did Dreadnought take? I can't remember, if any. Oh, nothing. Excellent. It has another Pokemon that uh, suffered a bit, but we should be okay against the Growlithe. Oh, yeah. Sorry to knock out your puppy like that. And there we go, we defeated Raymond. Yep, I think I can handle myself no problem. Right, that's the bridge back to Moto Stoke. I forgot how short this bit actually was. So I tell you what, before we head back, I actually want to try and find another Salandit. And try and catch it. Also, there's a lot of pseudo Wudo right now. Screw it, you know what? Shellos, this is a good opportunity to do a little bit of training against this uh, the pseudo Wudo. So yeah, this episode is pretty much just going to be spending time just doing a little bit of training and hopefully capture a few more Pokemon, but this will be all in preparation for the next gym badger battle, which will definitely take place in the next episode, I can guarantee that. Use Rock Tomb. Speed fell. Uh oh. Okay, I see you're just going to use the Rock Throw uh, tactic, are we, Pseudo Wudo? I don't approve of that, so go away. Yeah, I think uh, Shellos could do with a little bit more training, but that did level it up, though, so that's good. Oh, Talk Cell's level 27 as well. Nice. Uh, another pseudo Wudo, but probably best to heal up. Uh, not potion, it needs to be super potion. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? It'll waste a little bit of it, but not by much. And another pseudo Wudo just popped out of the grass. I also just, I also need to check the uh, the random ruffling of the grass there because it might uh, some of the like complete random encounter like Pokemon you might have won't be the only Pokemon that you see in the overworld. So I should actually check them out a bit more. But I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Anyway, also level 26 Sudo Wudo. That's more like it. That should help get me a juicy amount of experience points. Oh yeah, look at that. 749 for Shellos. Oh, we're going to level you up in no time. Especially considering another one spawned right behind me, so I'm just going to go on a bit of a uh, pseudo wudo um, I suppose you could say a pseudo wudo killing spree. <laughs> uh, well, you can use block on me all you want, but I am not going to run away. There we go. Oh, and you are confused. About time, uh... What a pulse actually managed to confuse a Pokemon. Hey, and it actually hurt itself. Oh, it's about time I actually had something go uh, in my favour for once when it comes to, you know, confusion and all that. Dreadnought level 28, awesome. I think Dreadnought's pretty sh much strong enough for the gym. I mean, there's so many pseudo Wuda around here. Like, complete opposite to, uh, well, Gold and Silver when it was first introduced, when I think you could only get one in that game, wasn't it? You know, where you had the pseudo Wooter that was blocking, like, a one-tile-wide junction in between three major cities. I've always found that amusing in those, uh, in the old Gold and Silver games, and actually, also in Heart, Gold and Soul Silver. Like, there's a... There's, like, a one-tile-wide... Like, there's three one tile wide roads connecting up to one another, and it's blocked by a pseudo Wudo. Someone did not do uh, their planning when it came to doing their route designs. Obviously, I mean, not the game, because they did it on purpose to stop us progressing further, but I mean, from like a, a route planner, you know, like a town planner sort of thing, whoever is in charge of, you know, designing the roads in Johto, they did not plan that well, did they? <laughs> Anyway, let's just battle another pseudo Wudo. Hopefully I can find another Salandit before I leave here. Because I've, I, I, 
think overall, I think I would prefer to have a Salazzle as my main fire type Pokemon rather than Arcanine, but I don't know, we'll see. Ooh, this Pseudo Wudo's got some uh, pretty high de uh, defense by the looks of it. Okay, you're gonna use Mimic and you're gonna uh, obviously learn Water Pulse, but that's probably not gonna do you a huge amount of favor, Pseudo Wudo. Oh, and neither is that. The yellow Twitter birds of confusion have surrounded Pseudo Wudo, and I'm just gonna use Body Slam because I'm gonna fingers crossed that he's gonna hit himself. And of course it didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, this Body Slam's not gonna knock it out, is it? Very much not. Although I did paralyze it. So, you know what? It was not all for nothing. <laughs> I slowed it down so I can actually get in the final uh, killing blow, I suppose you could say. There we go. Uh, that should help uh, Shellos quite a bit, actually. Yes. Oh, I'm actually tempted to get uh, Shellos to level, what was it, level 28, I think, before we move on. That's a, I think a, a Hatena, I think, just appeared. There's another Pseudo Wudo. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go on a massive uh, Pseudo Wudo, well, rampage right now. Let's just keep on doing this, although admittedly we are starting to run out of uh, PP for uh, Water Pulse, so probably going to have to stop training uh, Shell off soon, but we'll be okay. I'll tell you what, I'm doing this training, I'm trying to think, uh, well, I'm trying to think what's on my mind regarding uh, Pokemon, and rather on the channel as well. Because right now, obviously, I've been doing Pokemon Shield a lot on the channel, but I do want to get back to doing some other Pokemon games. Uh, I know there's a few Pokemon games I've not yet fully completed. There's a lot of Noctowl around. Uh, let's just move out. But uh, th I do have a few ideas for other Pokemon games I definitely want to cover on the channel uh, in 2020. I might as well reveal this now, one of which will be Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. I know a lot of people have asked me to play that game, so that will definitely be happening uh, at some point in 2020. Maybe, a, uh, maybe another main series Pokemon game? Depends how far I go with Pokemon... It, it depends how far I go with my Pokemon Shield, let's play, thinking about it, but... Um, yeah, definitely got some ideas for other Pokemon like main series Let's Plays and also Let's Plays of other like, you know, like other like Pokemon spin-off games. Obviously, besides Mystery Dungeon, I definitely would like to one day check out or check out again Pokemon Conquest, which I think is a game. I mean, I talked about this in another Pokemon Let's Play, but uh, I think Pokemon Conquest is one of those Pokemon spin-offs that I don't think that many people remember from the DS. And i quite like to cover it on the channel. Ooh, okay, a bunch of level ups. Toxel is getting pretty close to level 30, actually, which is awesome! Uh, right. More pseudo wudo, more pseudo wudo, more pseudo wudo. Uh, no um, Salandit, sadly. I would like to catch another one before we leave this area. Uh, hey, a big old fro has appeared as well. Uh, knocked owl, pseudo wudo, knocked owl. Yeah, let's see what this random Pokemon encounter is. Oh, it's just a tutel. Just a tutel. Sadly, not quite what I was expecting, so never mind. Uh, I'm gonna. I couldn't get away. No! Can't do this to me, tutel. I wanna run away, damn it. Thank you. Actually, speaking of which, I'm actually yeah, I might as well just switch back to Dreadnought because you're the stronger one, and uh, Shellos only needs a tiny amount of experience to level up. All right, so one more battle against a pseudo Wudo. I'll tell you what, battling all these pseudo Wudo might help out because who knows? Maybe in this game I might try and do some shiny Pokemon hunting at some point. And all these battles against the Pseudo Wudo will help me, you know, 
increase the chances of finding a shiny uh, pseudo would do if I uh, wanted to. And admittedly, I know this is probably going to be probably the most boring episode I've done of this uh, Let's Play, but, you know, I mean, I could have done a lot of this off-camera, but, ah, uh, you know, I only need to do a quick bit of levelling up. In fact, I think that's all we need to do right now. Shellos is now 28, so I think I'm pretty comfortable with potentially taking on um, Kabu, the next gym leader. But before we go, I want to see if I can find a Salandit. I want to find a female Salandit so I can evolve it into a a Salazzle. Uh, throw... Oh, hang on. I think there is one here. I saw you creeping around, uh, Salandit. And you are a female. Excellent. I am going to catch you. Oh, wow, that nuzzle actually did quite a bit more damage. I was going to use Spark, but I'm actually not going to now because I'm worried that it's going to be too much. And I don't think I can get away with using another nuzzle either. All right, we're going to have to take a chance with this uh, Great Ball. So we'll capture you. There we go. Another Salandit. This time a female one, so I'll be able to get a Salazzle. Unless I happen to find one in a... Uh, not uh, not Dad's body, in one of those, like, max raid battles. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, that'll do for now, I think. Whoa, hello. Big old throw in the way. Where did you come from? <laughs> um, oh, yeah, you were the one I actually somewhat avoided, didn't I? <laughs> I was going to say, where the hell did you come from? Oh yeah, you, uh, I literally, you know, walked past you. Anyway, I think we're done around here. Let's actually head back to Motorstoke and call it a day. Although, aha, I thought so. Yes. Hidden items, more feathers. Anything else? Any more feathers? Yes, something on the floor here. Ah, uh, nice view again of the wild area. And pretty much where we're looking at right now is where we'll be going to next once we're done with uh, the third gym battle. Uh, health feather. And I think that's it. And we're back in Motorstoke. Nice. Uh, but I think before we turn in for the night, although I think, think about it, turning in for the night will probably heal my Pokemon. But you know what? Just for peace of mind. I'm going to, uh, hey look, there's their uh, Mangino. Uh, I'm just going to heal up my Pokemon now. And actually, I do need to do a bit of shopping anyway. Just uh, restock on some items. In preparation for the next gym badge. And also, I might as well stock up on some uh, Pokeballs and Great Balls in preparation for uh, a second uh, adventure. Most likely a second multi episode adventure in the wild area, so uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll buy a few more Pokeballs, but not a crazy amount. Actually, I was going to buy 9, so I have around even 10 Pokeballs, but no, let's buy 10. So I get a free Premier Ball. And as for Great Balls, I'm just going to buy... Hmm. I'm actually going to buy 20 of them. Oops. Oh dear, what have I done? There we go. Uh, press the wrong button. Yeah, we'll buy 20 Great Balls. Because I've got plenty of money. I uh, don't need to buy any potions. I might as well buy... Tw uh, not 20. Uh, buy 10 more super potions. I've got enough revive, so I'm okay with that. Uh, Paralyze heals. Plenty of burn heals, interestingly. Oh yeah, we picked up a bunch of burn heals on somewhere, didn't we? I, I believe I also have... Um, yeah, a couple of things to sell. So I might as well sell both the feathers, uh, both these big mushrooms, and a star piece. Ooh, a nice six grand there. Also, before I press the A button, look at my money. 114,114 Poke Dollars. Not anymore. But that was interesting. <laughs> and of course, you sell TMs. But uh, let's have a quick look, just in case there was anything else. Obviously, I bought False Swipe, but... Other than that, uh, there's nothing I really want to get right now. So, I tell you what, I think with that all done, I 
think I'm actually going to end this episode now. And in the next episode, we'll turn in for the night. And then we're going to immediately head to the stadium to take on Kabu. And hopefully get my third gym battle. Uh, uh the gym badge also. Sorry, was I a new way? <laughs> Pardon me. Um, oh, get off the main road. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing next time. But for now, thanks very much for watching, everyone. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll be back very soon with some more Pokemon Shield. So until then, I shall catch you all later.